Hi, hello again. This is the second part of a tutorial on setting up quiz in Moodle. I would suggest you watch the previous video on how to create uh, various categories in the question pack. The link is given in the info on the right uh, hand side of this video. In this video, I will show you how to create a simple uh, question in Moodle. So let's get started. From the previous video, I have shown how to create categories for questions in the question bank. Currently, there is no questions associated with each of the category here. This is because we have not created one. So now let's start to create question and build up our question bank. To start, make sure you are in the question uh, tab here. Then select the category from the drop down menu. So we have three categories and I will start with uh, the first category here, food gums and stabilizers. To create a new question, select the drop down menu to choose a type of questions. For this example, I will choose true and false type. This is a very simple question type that I will use to illustrate a few important features in Moodle quiz and about online quizzes. So when we click this, we will be presented with this window to allow us to create our questions. If you like, you can choose or change a category here to a different category. In this example, I will just stick with this category, food gum and stabilizers. So first we have to give a question name. The name would enable you to identify the question belongs to a certain group within the same category. It is just for your reference. It won't be seen by your student. In this example, I will name it about pectin. So now you are ready to type the question in the box here. I will pause here and come back after I finish typing. Okay, I've just finished typing the question in the box here. For the format here, uh, the, the default is Moodle Auto Format. Um, I will choose HTML format instead. HTML format means it uses the typical HTML, HTML code typically used in web pages. So for example, we can create link of certain words to an external website or to a, glo to a glossary, etc. I will show some examples in other tutorials. The next option allows us to insert any image relevant to the question. When you click the drop down menu here, it will list all the images or pictures that you have uploaded into Moodle. For now, I will leave it uh, blank or none here. Next, the default question grade is given as one. You can change this to any point you wish. I will leave it at one. And next is the penalty factor. Some question type has a penalty factor means that if the students give the wrong answer, they can be penalized by a certain point. When you scroll down here in the general feedback, you can give a general feedback to your student once they answered the question. I will leave it blank for this one. Next, if you scroll down, you can select the correct answer for this question. In my example here, false is uh, the correct answer. So I'll leave it at false. Next, you can give a specific feedback when the student answers true or false. In my example, since the, since the correct answer is false, feedback for the true answer will be... Okay, I've just finished typing the response for true answer here. As we continue to scroll down the page, the next section allows us to enter feedback for false answer. In my example, the correct answer is false. So I like to give this feedback to the, to the student. Notice that in this example, I don't simply give a simple feedback such as correct or incorrect. This is not useful because students will learn why the answer is correct or incorrect. Finally, next, uh, save, uh, click Save Changes. 
So now you have successfully created the first question in the question bank. We can see now we are inside the category food gums and stabilizers and we have one question in this category whereas the other two categories uh, still we don't have any question in it. To preview the question that we have just created, go down here to the uh, magnifying glass and click. A preview window will open and now we can see the question we just created and how the student will see it. If we click say true and click submit, we can see the answer is marked wrong and the feedback is given as to why the answer is wrong. So basically that's how we create a question for a quiz. In the next video, I will show I will show you how to create the other types of question in Moodle quiz.